What's up guys? So if you follow me on any of my platforms or if you subscribe to my YouTube channel or whatever, you know that I really like this show called Shark Tank. Like it's one of my favorite programs on TV and I just really like the show. One of my all-time favorite sharks, and I feel like most people's favorite shark, a guy named Kevin O'Leary, has a YouTube channel. And it's like, in my opinion, he's the best shark because one, he's completely honest. Two, he does not sugarcoat the deals. And three, he keeps the show moving along. And he's also one of the richest sharks after Mark Cuban. So, really, like, I think it's interesting, really, like, his YouTube channel and, like, how he has taken a motive to basically create an online presence because of a few things. Like, first of all, it's not like he really needs to. Like, the guy is not only rich, but he is rich enough where he doesn't really have to do anything. The only reason he does is just because, you know, he completely loves business. But when it comes to YouTube, it's like obviously he's not going out there trying to make, like, advertising revenue or anything like that. Like, he doesn't really care about AdSense. And if you look at it, it's not like the channel's making millions of dollars in advertising revenue either. It potentially could, and it most likely will. But it's not like right now he's making millions of dollars, you know, off doing YouTube. He is making a substantial income i'm not going to deny that and it's like anyone else could make an actual career doing that but it's like it's not like it's really a concern for him like he can make far more money making a deal on shark tank and like spend far less time doing that and make the same amount of revenue so the question is why has he really taken up an interest in youtube like what's really his game plan here and what is he trying to do for the platform right now he's making content and string shark tank fans questions and like fans of him like questions about business and entrepreneurship and it's actually very helpful like in my opinion he doesn't always like he doesn't just give the best advice he gives the most honest like most honest advice like if you call him and you have an idea and you tell him the idea and he doesn't think the business can scale or is worth it he'll straight up be like i don't think you should be doing this business i think you should try to do something else or i feel like if most sharks were in a position like this they would be like they would just cheer on the company because that's what they do like they're trying to be liked and everything so it's like with him like he's doing a very good job with this but I also want to like stress the genius behind what kevin o'leary is doing like with youtube and twitter and instagram but especially really with youtube because youtube is what the outlier here like every other shark has an instagram or twitter but he's the only one that's really like taking the initiative to make a youtube channel and it's like, I think the genius with doing this is, and the reason he's investing so much time into doing YouTube, is not really for the AdSense or sponsorships. It's really all about personal branding, which is essentially priceless. Like, having an established brand in the market, especially a brand as yourself, is one of the best things you can possibly do for yourself. And it's also why I'm on YouTube. Admittedly, not as viewed, but it's why... I, like, it's my goal, really, with the YouTube is creating a brand for myself. So it's, like, really with this, it's genius. Like, he's going out there, answering questions, like, posting content, getting a, like, dedicated fan base rallied up behind him. And think about it like this. All the sharks have books. In fact, Damon John, another shark, has just released a book, I believe, yesterday. And it's, like, with that, like, you release it to your audience and they choose whether or not to buy it. Also, there's the advantage of, like, casual business people who are going to go buy books who, even if they haven't heard of Damon John, like, by looking at the book and what it teaches, they'll get it. But really, Kevin O'Leary is going to have himself, like, a special little advantage here, where if he makes a book, he has rallied up a dedicated fan base and rallied up people interested in what he has to say and, like, people already learning from him. I believe the channel has around... 150 subscribe like 150,000 subscribers right now and it's like all those people have made the initiative to learn what Kevin O'Leary has to say so when he does release a book they'll be pretty likely to buy it since they already are learning from Kevin O'Leary they're already seeing what he has to say and they've already decided that what he has to say is valuable to them so really it just rallies up this whole brand for him which translates to even more money for him and also more publicity for him. Like he has made himself a dedicated brand. And you can see that he's been wanting to do this for a while. Like you have to remember if you watch the show. Like he's dubbed himself Mr. Wonderful. He has been creating a brand for himself throughout the entire show. Which all the other sharks and to some extent are also doing the same. Like it's why they're on Shark Tank and just not running a venture capitalist firm. Like it's why they choose to go on TV to make their deals. Because they're trying to brand themselves. 
but Kevin O'Leary and why this is genius has decided on other platforms. And honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if in like a few months, we see him joining TikTok or something like that, like trying to push his brand further and trying to connect himself with a bigger audience. Like to me, it's just genius. And like, I have tremendous respect for him, especially, you know, like, especially, you know, at an older age, taking the initiative to join, you know, YouTube or join like other platforms and market himself there and brand himself and create the brand Mr. Wonderful for him so he can better sell books, better get his name out there. And honestly, like this is kind of more of a side point, but it's like the advertising potential with the YouTube channel like that. It's kind of huge too. Not really with like Google AdSense, but like with his Shark Tank deals and everything, like interviewing the people he's made deals with, like talking about the company and giving them to an audience, like with his brand is also just essentially priceless. Like it's a genius move on his part. And I really hope he continues to do this. And I really hope other, you know, sharks and other, you know, top business people learn from his example and join the platforms as well. Because it works for us, too. We get free content to watch and learn from. Like, we get to learn so much for free by what Kevin O'Leary is doing, by what other business people are doing by joining these platforms. Like, we essentially get a huge amount of knowledge that beforehand we'd have to pay for. Like, beforehand we had to pay for, like, web classes to learn from these people. And now they're doing it all for free. Like, not everyone. You still have, like, people trying to sell web classes and everything. But essentially... You basically don't need them unless you like really like the particular business person. You essentially don't need them because there's so much free content out there to learn from. And to me, it is just genius. So if you're watching this video and you haven't yet checked out Kevin O'Leary's YouTube channel, I would definitely do that. Like to me, like the advice he gives is awesome. Like he gives really good advice. He honestly will help you if you want to go into entrepreneurship, learn about business. And honestly, like I encourage everyone to do that. And I really think we're going to start seeing more and more people join platforms like this. And that's going to be amazing for people, you know, like me, for instance, who want to learn entrepreneurship. And like now that there's going to be like free ways to learn it and like more and more prominent business people teaching it. It's just it's amazing for everyone. And I think that's awesome. So, Kevin O'Leary, if you're watching this, you're probably not. But if you're watching this. Good job. I have tremendous respect for you for doing this. And, you know, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And I'll see you soon because I post almost every day.